Until next time. Attention, unidentified ship. I am Commodore Jacob Ross in command of the USS Reuben James. We have been searching for a Klingon vessel reported to have attacked a colony in the Gliese system. You fit the description of the ship we are looking for. Unless you can prove you are not, we will take immediate action.
should take care of that. Get my people out of there! I noticed a spike in trionic energy, and I was working to adjust the station's shields to compensate. I went to fetch a hyperspanner, and I was attacked! If you help me, I can finish my repairs before the trionic energy reaches lethal levels. By the way, you can call me Scotty. Just as I suspected, the trialic energy is increasing. We'll be cooked like a haggis if we don't do something about it. There is a wee store on this station. The last who runs it, Cassidy, said they might be getting a supply of the new quantum flux regulators. The Mark II versions. If we had one of those regulators, I could modify the flux coordinating sensors and use them to modulate the shields protecting the station. That would buy us some time. Go find Cassidy. She'll know where I am. store? A quantum what? I'm sorry. I'm just too scared right now to think about selling anything. I'm closing down until I get my wits about me. Maybe it would be best if I packed up and went back to Sherman's planet. I don't know. Maybe a nerve tonic would soothe me. Can you get one for me? Did you get the quantum flux regulator? Nerve tonics? Ugh! You don't look like you need one of those! These wee beasties are troublesome, but they're not as bad as a ship full of angry Romulans! Now, I've been known to enjoy an occasional nip of scotch whiskey. That's the only nerve tonic you'll ever need. Why do you need to know about them? Oh, for Cassidy. Now that makes sense. 
She's a bonny lass, that Cassidy, and more than willing to spend a little time with the right Starfleet officer, if you know what I mean. But she hasn't got the stomach for fighting. Is she alright? I hate for anything to happen to her. Glad to hear it. Sounds like she needs something to take a wee bit of the edge off, and that happens to be one of my specialties, along with transwarp transporter technology and warp field mechanics. Cassidy's been meeting me every evening in the bar for a spot of cheer, but I've never seen her order a nerve tonic. Perhaps if I told you what she likes, you'll be able to figure out the right mix. The bartender will help you. I've seen Cassidy order these drinks. Cassidy didn't like the salty taste of the Albion brandy, but she really enjoyed the fact that it was garnished with a drop of honey that floated on the top of the drink. Bah, garnish is getting in the way of a fine beverage, if you ask me. Can you imagine putting a wee piece of pineapple in a glass of 20-year-old single malt? It's preposterous. I've seen Cassidy order these drinks. The only time I saw Cassidy ordering blood wine was when she was feeling under the weather. Poor lass. She liked that it was served warm, but she hated those blasted heavy metal mugs the Klingons use. And the potency of it was a bit much for her to handle. A girl like Cassidy needs something with a little less kick. I've seen Cassidy order these drinks. Zelay brought Cassidy a Denevian mead a few nights ago. Ugh, terribly sweet stuff, like drinking syrup. Cassidy didn't like the cloying sweetness, and the wee bird broke out into highs because she was allergic to the fruit garnish. I'm not ordering any of that stuff again. I've seen Cassidy order these drinks. Cassie and I got into a drinking contest with a Klingon one night, and we ended up drinking fire wine. It's not as good as scotch, mind you but it's better than drinking warp core coolant. The next morning, after she picked herself up off the floor, Cassidy told me that the fire wine was so spicy that she was afraid it had eaten a hole through her stomach. I had to send her to see Bones for a checkup. Also, she said that drinking from those shallow bowls made her feel like someone's pet targ. I've seen Cassidy order these drinks. Martinis aren't my cup of tea, as it were, but Cassidy seems to like them. She appreciates that a martini should be served as cold as possible. But since she nurses her drinks, the cold tends to dissipate, and she doesn't get the full effect. She's quite fond of those fancy stem glasses, though. I've seen Cassidy order these drinks. Cassidy really likes her Sumerian sunsets, mostly because of the sour taste. She hates that the drink is so weak, and has been trying to convince the bartender to add garnish to it, to make the happy feeling last longer. But he won't, because then it wouldn't be a Sumerian sunset. Me? I say a drink is a drink. If the lady wants a garnish, give her one. I've seen Cassidy order these drinks. Cassidy really likes the little pick-me-up of a drop of Skagarian whiskey. But she doesn't like the wee shot glasses or the silly paper umbrellas. Who ever heard of putting a wee paper umbrella in a glass of whiskey? It's sacrilege! If I ever go to Skagara, I'm gonna give them a piece of my mind. I've seen Cassidy order these drinks. Do you have a drink for me? Oh, I love warm drinks. They're so relaxing. Mmm, there's a lovely sour note to this drink. I feel so refreshed. There's just enough oomph to this drink to make it really stick with you. I like that. I love the style of this glass. It accentuates the flavor of the ingredients. Honey, oh, that bit of sweetness is just perfect. It adds the most delightful note to each sip. 
Ah, <sighs> that is marvelous. I'm feeling much better now. Thank you. What tool was it you needed? A quantum flux regulator mark II? I have one of those right here. Please take it as a thank you. The right tool for the right job. I'll just like making the adjustments, but I don't know if I've got enough time. You can't change the laws of physics. The trialic energy levels keep rising, and sensors show the plastic comet is to blame. Modulating the shields is not going to be enough. Something needs to be done about that comet if we're going to live to see the morning. of Duras. I am Captain Bavat, son of Warat, and leader of my house. My brother died due to Duras' treachery. I will avenge his death with the destruction of a hundred Duras ships. Prepare to die!
If you are receiving this message, then you and your crew have completed your mission. Driffin's Comet is destroyed, and the Davidians are no longer a threat to the Federation. You've done well. And, to prove that I'm not the immoral monster that some make me out to be, I'm going to help you. When you last docked at Deep Space K-7, I had some modifications made to your vessel. One of those is the addition of a Borg temporal node salvaged from a cube in the Batron Cluster. It's set to return you to our time. Congratulations on a job well done. Drake out. <laughs>